Hello everyone, so this is One Geek Guy. We are here in a new video, this time regarding to the improvement or accessory to the third hand that I make in my previous videos. You can take a look on my YouTube channel, I will uh, leave you here anyway a card that you can go directly. And also, please, if you like the content, subscribe, give it a like. Also, in my Instagram, I used to post more often, so feel free to subscribe there as well or to follow me. So you can be always updated regarding to what I used to do. And this time, I would like to show you these small uh, PCBs that you can see here on, this, uh, on the arms that I make. That basically is an accessory that you can plug into the, the arm, as I showed you in the previous videos, it's exchangeable. And basically, this try to solve a bit the issue that we always have as uh, electronic engineers, makers, hobbyists, whatever, that we don't have enough hands in order to test something on the PCB, on the PCB right? So basically, as I said, we never have enough hands, we need to put different probes, oscilloscope probes, whatever. In this case, for oscilloscope is not so useful, but we are going to see in the future. But basically, imagine for a logic analyzer, for a multimeter, so we need to test in different points while, for example, measure with the oscilloscope. So this is trying to help us with this uh, task because basically uh, these PCBs, what they have is a needle that can touch directly to the PCB or to the uh, component lead to the test point in a way that we can place all the arms for doing measurements. And it has here three uh, connector or three pin connector in a way that we can access to the signal that it is through the needle. We are going to, to go into the details on the PCB later and also how I uh, order it, how I make it, but let's focus now on how this works. So let me do a, a small zoom into the area. We are going to take a look and I will show you later also how to, how to use it. Okay, so now we have already a good picture about how this works. So basically you can see that the three needles are in uh, one of its pins of this uh, component in a way that, as I said, you can see that the PCBs, they are quite close together, but even though with the shape that they have, that they are thin and also long, we can put the three arms in a way that we can, in this case, uh, for example, connect a logic analyzer to the probes that we have here and measure th three different signals, which could be SPI or whatever. So I think this gives you a good picture about how this works. Uh, as well, for sure, you can always change it. So it's something that we could put it here and we could measure, for example, now on this IC. So as you can see, it's really easy to move. Let's go again uh, to the big picture. So I will show you how, for example, to measure one a bit bigger component so you have a better uh, idea how this works how it is set up and also with the multimeter and uh, later on i will show you uh, what this pcb is it's really easy i say how i order it and a bit more details regarding how it is okay so now we have a better idea how this works so basically let's say that we are going to use this time only two uh, needles or two arms in a way that we are going to measure one voltage on this regulator that it is easy to you to, to appreciate. So basically what we are going to use is one of the uh, arms for the positive, one for the negative. Okay, so basically we need to connect this here. Okay, as you can see this is going to the multimeter and the negative we are going to connect it here in the same way. Uh, one important thing you need to know that I think is useful is that these uh, probes, as you can see here, they have also a GND here, so we can connect a cable with a clamp and also connect the GND with the PCB itself, right? So we don't need two arms just for this purpose. So let me connect the positive in the middle of this component, okay? As you can see here, so we touch there. Perfect, and let's make a bit of zoom, let's focus here, and this one that we are going to connect it to the, to the GND in this case, that it is this one, but as I said, the good point of this one is that even though we don't have that much space, it's really easy to, to apply, okay, so as you can see, we put the needle where we want, we tie it this and we can measure already 
on this component, right? So as you can see here. So now we are going to power the the PCB and we are going to see what we see. But basically, as you can see, it's uh, really flexible. We could be measuring with our oscilloscope while this is uh, or the multimeter is working. So yeah, as you can see, we are measuring the 12 volts that it is going as uh, voltage input to this small uh, regulator. And as I showed you before, we could do the same on the small leads of these uh, ICs with a logic analyzer on so on. So now let's go to KiCad because I use KiCad for these uh, PCBs and I will show you how I make it, more or less how they consist. They are really simple, but I think it's also useful for you to understand what is inside of the, of the PCB. And later on, as ending on this video, we are going to show you how the PCB is uh, it's done all the components, the needle, some parameters, and yeah, let's go to the to the KiCad now. Okay, so now we are on KiCad, and basically I will show you the, the schematic. It's really really simple. So here uh, we see the test point that basically is the the pad where we connect the the needle or where we solder the needle. I will show you later, and this is going to two or to two pins in this case to the pin number three of this 2.54 uh, uh, connector or header that basically it has direct connection to the to the needle in a way that we can take the measure directly and there is another path that it has uh, a voltage divider in a way that if we want so basically what we can do is to to divide the voltage that we want to measure imagine that we have uh, whatever something that does not allow to have the voltage that we want to measure so we can always solder some resistors in order to divide by half, for example, the, the voltage, this is up to you, or also if we want to have a series resistor in order to limit the current, ringing or whatever, you can always solder it. So this is an option, the ideal uh, pin is the number three, and the number one that it is basically the ground. So this part is really easy. Here on the on this side we see the, the test point flag that it is basically the footprint for the PCB to fi be fixated in the arm that I will show you later, it's a big pad that it is soldered into a brass uh, part or brass holder. And also two more test points that they are for ground that I will show you now on the on the PCB. So for the PCB, uh, this uh, PCB has been sponsored by uh, PCB Way because it's really easy to order with them having KiCad, I will show you now. And also uh, it's really straightforward you can do a small PCBs as well that some uh, PCB suppliers, they don't accept these small uh, PCBs. So basically, if we go to the to the PCB editor, uh, this is the PCB that uh, you can see that this is the big pad where the, the fixation is solder. Also, we see here the header with the connection, direct connection and also the voltage divider. Here is where the needle is going. And another interesting feature, this is the top side, right, with the two resistors. The other interesting uh, feature is that the other side has GND, right? So here we can connect a cable and clamp in order to have both in the same uh, part. So basically we can connect in this pin the ground, in this pin the signal, and here a cable with a test lead or whatever in order to have the ground also on this small PCB. And in parallel, we can connect this uh, other side of the PCB to ground or another needle. So I will show you in the next part of the video that you can place two needles in a way that if you have a test point close enough, you can just measure the signal and the GND with this, uh, with this PCB. So basically that's all, it's really simple. And now the interesting thing is uh, if you want to order this uh, PCB and probably I will go in to, to, to do a video more in detail, there is a plugin that we can use for PCB way, as you can see here, you can download it from, from KiCad. Uh, I will left uh, the link in the description from where to download it and also the name in a way that you can just click here when the PCB is finished, okay? And this will be processed on the PCB way. And as you can see, this is what we are going to get in a way that has been already uploaded, not only the 
Gerber packets, as you can see here, the .zip, so you don't need to do it manually, but also the BOM is there. So in a way that if you order uh, or if you want to order the PCB plus assembly, uh, you can do it. And as I said, so basically for configuring the PCB just as information, so it was a single piece, only one PCB per panel, because we don't want to have different PCBs on one panel. And in this case, I ordered five because I did not want to order more. It was just a, a prototype for this moment to see that everything is working. The material in this case is uh, FR4. Don't need to be high TE for yeah, uh, high temperature. So basically the, the lowest one for this uh, purpose is enough. And uh, also the thickness is 1.6, that it is a standard one. I was thinking about going lower, but for this, as I said, uh, first prototype for the moment, 1.6, it was enough. I don't have any special requirements regarding to uh, track spacing because I don't have uh, high density PCB. And also the whole size uh, 0.3 is more than enough. I think I have around 0.5 even. I don't have BIAS, so the only hole that I have is the the THT for the connector, the, you can select the color as well, that in this case I use black. Uh, the silk screen, that you can use yellow as well, but the, it's more expensive, so I decide to go on, on white. Edge connector we don't have. We have also the Hassel, we don't need any other uh, finish, it's the, the cheapest one, and for this purpose we don't need anything else. The vias they are tented, in this case I don't have vias, but basically when they are tented means that they are covered by a solder mask, the copper one off, not need anything else here, and the, I would like to have the, the code product because for this purpose I don't need to, to remove it. So basically that's all, you can also order a stencil here, that it will be automatically generated and the assembly service that for the moment I am not going to use it. It's really small. And the next thing you will need to do is to go here to save cart and order it. And in around, let's see if depends of the shipping, it's from one week to uh, two weeks, but as I said, it's really fast. So now uh, what we are going to do is show you a bit more in detail how the PCB is, how is the finishing and a bit more details on it to finalize the video. Here we have the PCB with the needle and the, the holder and the connector. So basically, as you can see, it's really simple. We are going to, to take a look in detail. So basically before we saw how we can order the PCBs, how it is, also the schematics a bit of KiCad. And now I am going to show you the fixtures that this uh, small PCB has. So basically it has a footprint for this 3-pin 2.54 header, okay, that it is going here. Later on we have this pad that it is here, that the purpose of this pad is to solder the needle. The needle is, uh, I found them in AliExpress, but you can find them everywhere, and basically the, the key point of this is that the needle has a, like a holder, as you can see, that you can insert the needle, okay, like this, and it is fixed, right? So you can change it in case the, the point is damaged, and later on this needle is soldered here, in a way that uh, we can uh, prove whatever we want. We have as well here two small resistors that they work for a voltage divider because as you can see we have three pins so one is for the signal directly coming from the needle the middle one is for the voltage divider and the end one is for the GND because if we go to this side we see that we have GND connection another connection for another needle like this one right because we can put two needles together like this and on the other side in a way that we can test at this point and if uh, close by we have ground, we can directly connect it. And then we have here one big test point for connecting test lead, cable or whatever. So we can have everything compact on this uh, PCB. And we have to finalize this uh, pad here that basically is to solder this one here, this small part, in a way that uh, we can fix it as uh, I showed you before in the arm, right? So the final board solder is like this. The key point of these uh, PCBs is that they are uh, small. They are 1.6 uh, millimeter thickness. I was thinking about doing it a bit uh, yeah, 
smaller, but for the moment, for testing, I think it's good enough. And it's three centimeters long by five millimeters in this width, right? So as you can see, we can put the good point of this one is that we can put both really together, even more, four, five, and they don't collide, right? So this is the, the key point of this uh, system that we can abort the PCB from different ways, as I showed you before, and uh, test whatever points uh, we want. So these PCBs, they work with, uh, say, the multimeter, and uh, we can measure voltage. Uh, also, they could be used by or using a logic analyzer because, as I said, the header is really common. So, basically, that's all for this video. I just wanted to show you this feature that I did. I think for electronics, they are quite uh, good. From my experience doing testing, you never have enough hands to hold everything. So, basically, with this one, uh, we can easier this uh, task. So, in case you like, please uh, subscribe. Feel free to contact me if you have any doubt. I remember that I have Instagram and I used to put, post. I used to post uh, more often than in YouTube because it's just a matter of time. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and uh, see you in the next video.